Hi! My name is Adriana and today I wanted to share my experience with Chloe Ding's 10 minute abs in 2 weeks video. I wanted to see if I could do like the absolute bare minimum and see results. I weighed around 119 pounds, 29.75 inches around my waist, and my belly was about 31 inches. That's my before, and now I'm gonna show you how I got to my after. Oh, what the frick is that? Oh, bro, that burns! Ooh. I am dripping sweat right now. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. Oh God, wish me luck guys. <laughs> and boy, did I need it. The next few days were probably some of the most difficult days of my life. I'm not trying to sound dramatic. Literally, I struggled so much with this program, guys. As you can tell, I'm sweating profusely right now. I'm still so freaking intimidated by those plank jump thingies. They just scare me, so I haven't tried them yet. I'm gonna go shower, <laughs> but day two is completed. <sighs> yeah. I genuinely thought that it was gonna get easier as the days progressed, but it didn't. It was literally like difficult every single day. I started my period, so I just want to sleep right now, and I've been taking a nap for the past like four hours I figured it would probably be a good idea to just get up and do something with my life. Also, just ignore the hair I don't know. I don't even want to try I'm drenched in sweat, sweat, sweat. That kind of distracted me from the cramps I had, so I guess in a sense that was good for me to do. I just wanted to kind of commend my fellow ladies out there that have been working out while on their periods, because I know it is a challenging thing to do. Whenever I'm on my period, I tend to feel a lot more sluggish than normal. I just want to lay in bed all day and watch like Netflix rom-coms. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna go eat dark chocolate and watch movie. Yeah, um, I was about to go to bed and then I like got my little booty off my bed and I said, you know what? No, you're not gonna go to sleep until you do this workout. So, I'm gonna do the workout now. I forgot to put my hair up. <laughs> okay, then I'll put a... Okay. I just did the workout, I barely even sweat this time because I hardly even tried. But the point is that I did it. Even though like five of those minutes were just me doing nothing, I still did like five minutes of something. I think that's honestly all that matters. Good night guys, see you tomorrow. Good morning, let's do this thing. <laughs> I know I can do it though if I try. <sighs> Alright guys, 
So I think that was day six or day five, but I'm not really sure. This time I sweated a ton and that's because I actually tried this time. And I'm honestly pretty proud of myself. I still can't get a hand on some of these workouts because they're just really difficult for me. I'm just like not a flexible person, but I am doing it. And I think that is like so freaking cool. I'm gonna go shower day seven or day six or day five. I don't really know, completed. <laughs> I really don't want to work out right now. Yesterday I came home super late and I just couldn't. I literally could not get myself to do a 10 minute workout. So today I'm gonna be doing it twice. So that should be fun. Let's do testing. Oh wait, what are we doing? The hardest thing about doing these challenges is learning how to do them consistently. Let me tell you straight up girl, working out consistently for 14 days it's hard. It's not easy. I don't think it's ever been easy. I don't think it ever will be easy. When you're working out, you are literally stressing your body out. That's why your legs are shaking and that's why you're sweating and that's why you find yourself losing your breath. It's because your body is in a state of stress. But the thing about working out is even though it is a stressor to our bodies, it is also a de-stressor. There's so much benefits to working out even though it sucks and even though I would much rather sleep for an extra 10 minutes i genuinely think that the benefits of working out are so worth it after we experience excruciating pain we get benefits and our body releases endorphins you know as the queen said it herself exercise gives you endorphins and endorphins makes you happy and happy people just don't shoot their husbands <laughs> I'm so happy. Literally, tomorrow is the last day. I don't have to do this ever freaking again. I'm so tired. I feel, honestly, kind of feel good. I'm not gonna lie. Tired? Yes. Sleep deprived? Yes. Sweaty? Yes. But good, nonetheless. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Good morning, guys. Today is the last day of this abs in two weeks challenge. It hasn't even felt like two weeks, honestly. The fact that it's only been like 10 minutes, bruh. Let's do this. <laughs> right now I'm proud of myself I ow <laughs> so I did it now let's see my results From the beginning of the program, I weighed around 119 pounds and after the program I weighed around 110 pounds So yeah okay my waist size was 26.25 inches. I lost like three inches. Oh shoot, I just realized that the washing machine is on. So if you hear noises and stuff, I'm so sorry. I lost a total of around three inches. Yes, I just think the results that Chloe gives are always just so like top tier. I ended up being around 28.5 inches on my belly. So my tummy, she lost around like two inches too. So yeah, that is so freaking awesome. One, I drank a lot of water. And when I tell you that I drank a lot of water, I mean I drank at least a gallon of water every day for the full 14 days. I know it might sound insane, <laughs> um, but how rude. Bro, hurry up, man. Really, once you get adjusted to it and adapted to it, it becomes like literally part of your lifestyle. I was doing intermediate fasting. What I did was the 16-8 method, which means that I didn't eat anything for 16 hours. So usually those 16 hours fall into like when you're sleeping. I only ate within an eight hour eating window. When I was eating, I made like conscious choices to opt for more healthier foods. Obviously, I would never give up Oreos. I would never give up ice cream. I would never give up my avocado toast. That is insane. I love carbs. Carbs, 
I never wanted to like give up any of that. I really avoid restricting because it definitely like triggers me as someone that has struggled in the past with food. I hate restricting. In those 16 hours when your body is in the fast mode, it basically like eats up on your fat. I'll link some videos down below on fasting. I also walked a mile a day, which once again might sound crazy, but it actually was so distressing. I really enjoyed walking in nature. Like I would encourage anyone if you don't really like exercising, like walking is probably the most convenient way to get your body moving, get your heart rate up a little bit and still see benefits from working out. That is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really once again want to just encourage any of you that haven't already just start the program. Just start doing a 10 minute workout every day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!